Hey guys, this lesson is for all my Indonesian friends out there. We're going to be doing Song Dewi by Laodra. Let's take a listen. So, I am Sean Cheek of webpianoteacher.com, and I'm going to give you the whole lesson today, all right? I'm going to give the, the verse and the chorus here just in this YouTube video, and I want to welcome all my Indonesian fans. Uh, I know I have them out there, and uh, I just wanted to do a song I know that you love. I did not know this song, but I like it too now. I, I think it's really great. So, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to switch to a regular piano sound. Because I had the, the string on there, you know. So now we're just going to, so you can hear better, all right? So we have. So this is sort of from the uh, acoustic version, the live version they did with just piano. So that's kind of what I'm going from. And I got melody in the right hand. So that's what we're going to do. So F and C in the left hand, right hand on a G. So I'm going to go one, two, and right here at the top. Left hand's on the bottom, F and C, right hand's on the top of the G. One two and one two and that's the first measure so work on that get that down then we can move to the second measure one and so da 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 ba ba so your left hand stays there with f and c and you have a c there c there right hand is g to a, a flat g a flat ba ba then you have a flat again and then f and then a c at the end so ba 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 hands together right here right and then together right left Da -dum, bum, bum, bum. So now we put those two measures together. One, two, and ba bum, bum. And sometimes I let my left hand play the middle C, sometimes I let my right. That's up to you. All right, so the next measure is sort of like the first one. So we have F and C again on the left, right hand G, G, and then an F at the end. One, and two, and up. Together, left, together, left, right. One more measure. So we have da -dum, bum, bum, bum. So a C again, right hand to G A flat, A flat with again with a F and C afterwards. Da -dum, bum, bum, bum. So now we've practiced each measure. So now what you do after you've learned four measures is we want to put those measures together. You've learned each individual measure. Now we need to uh, you know, connect all the chain links and see if we can play all four measures together, okay? So little pieces at a time. Let's see if we can do it. One, two, and one, and two, and a one, and two, and a one. Okay? So you can pause your video and work on that till you're ready to move on. And when you are, let's try the next section. Now, the left hand in this can be made easy or more complicated if you want to play more notes okay so either way so make sure you do the way that is easier for you right now and then you can work up to a more difficult way as you get better all right so the next part is going so that's all the intro so this is more introduction and the singing starts okay but here's the intro still F C G A flat five two one, one. So I'm going to just use my thumb twice in a row. And that's my pattern, okay? My right hand goes C, G, C. And then C, A flat. Bop, bop. So one E and a two and a. Okay? Next measure. Ba -dum, ba -da, ba -ba. So C and G with one and three to A flat with a four. Play it again. C and A flat. G, F, C. And you'll play a C at the end of the left hand to an F octave. I just have one F there, but we're going to do an octave. So right here, it's one e and a two and a one and da, 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 da. Okay, again. So one. So after you go C, F, then you're going to go C, F, C, F, and then Lyodra comes in and she sings that. So now we've learned the second part. 
of the intro. So what do we do? So you've worked on the first four measures, and you, that may take you a whole day, okay? You may not learn the next four to the next day. And the next day, maybe you work on the next four, and then you try to put them together. Now let's, we've learned this, we've learned this, now let's put them together, okay? So here we go. Beginning, one. all the way to here and then when you're ready we can move on to the next part so I'm gonna go ahead and move on now so if you're not ready then don't move on yet wait till you uh, have that under your belt to where you feel comfortable with that and then we can move on okay so now we're here Okay, so the melody is in the right hand, C, A flat, G, F, C, A flat, F, F, E flat, B flat, A flat, okay? So let's do that again. C, A flat, G. Okay, so work on that, that, that section with your right hand. Now the left hand is going to have patterns. Each... Um, left hand measure is going to have a pattern a chord and you're going to just get your fingers over those notes before you start and just play the pattern okay and you can make it as easy or as complex as you want but i suggest starting easy okay so here we have this pattern isn't that beautiful f c g a flat and i go thumb 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 okay usually in piano lessons your teacher will say no no don't go thumb thumb but sometimes it really works well and here's a place where it does so I'm gonna, I can do this, and then for the next F, I didn't write it out, but I do the same thing. I can do that, or I can do this. You know, you can play the same notes that you're already playing more if you're able to do that. But let's start out simple. Okay, so if I start here with the right hand, C, A flat, G. Again. Okay, if I make it more complex. So a lot of improvising um, is just playing the notes that you're already playing. You just play them more. You just do it more. Uh, and you, ch you have to change to the next chord at the right time. But you just play the notes you're already on a little more. Okay? So instead of going, I go. You can just practice that. Just hold the pedal down work on doing that and creating kind of a mystical you know da, 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 da. okay so up here we move on now we have B flat F A flat D flat so five three two one now I have an E flat in parentheses here because the right hand can help out with the the accompaniment you can just throw it in there so you can so that's optional put in there so you have uh... okay so slowly right here so when I have a chord here and then I just put a you know another B flat that just means do the same chord it's a B flat minor 7 is what it is okay do it very simple. Well, the next part. Now let's put our hands together. Or more complicated. Now you're hearing that going, oh, he added all these notes. No, I didn't. I played the same notes that I was already playing. I just played them more. And so that, that's how you add and, and sound way better really very quickly is, is you just keep playing the notes you're already on. All right, so uh, we did that section. Now we move on. Okay, so right here I'm going to go F, G, A flat, G. So you reach up. You can go two, one, two, five. F, B flat, E flat, D flat, C, E, G, A flat, so. 
C, E, G, A flat. On the left hand, we have E flat, B flat. Uh, I wrote those backwards. It should be F, G. So if you change that for me, E flat, B flat, F, G. So F, G instead of G, F. And then this is the same thing. So we have... Very simply... More complicated. Okay? And then... So here you have A flat, E flat, B flat. Right hand has a D flat. And then I like the right hand to help out with that D flat. See, my thumb can help out. Okay? Okay, so if I start right here. Slower. Okay, and then we have... So sometimes I like to do octaves. Instead of one E, I can do two E's. E, G, A flat. So I have octaves C, E, G, A flat, or just single notes. It's up to you. You can make it simple or more complicated. So here it's um, G, E, B flat, C. And here's where you can go thumb, thumb, to B flat to C. Okay, so if I start back here, slow. So if I start uh, right here, ba bum. Okay, so you may stay on that for a week or a couple of weeks. Um, but let's move on to the next section, okay? So uh, take a little breather, a little breath, and then let's move on. So we're going to play... So that's this little section right here. So let's try F, C, G, A flat. Now you already know that. You've already played that. Okay, a lot of the chords you have already played, you're just going to play again, so you already know them. So this first one is the F minor chord. Okay, so just remember what you did uh, over here. It's the same thing here. F, C, G, A flat. Then I stay on it. And then I have D flat, A flat, E flat, F. Down. That's a new one, okay? And I go thumb, thumb. Or, I mean, you need to leave it, make it simple. So that's still the D flat chord, this one right here. Okay, so F, F, F minor, F minor, D flat, D flat. Right hand, G, F, B flat, A flat, G, F, A flat, D flat, A flat, G, D. So now I not even have the, I not only have the octave, I have the fifth in the middle. A flat, D flat, A flat. D flat, A flat, D flat. So if slowly... You'll see sometimes I'm playing my right hand thumb too. You can do that. That's okay. This is just a blueprint for you to follow to help you to play. Okay, so one more time from here. And then the next part sounds like, let's see, what is it? Uh, okay, so... It's G, F, B flat on the left, G, F, B, and I'm going to go five, uh, 5, 1, 2, crossover. Right hand will have a G, and I'm going to use my right hand thumb to help out for the accompaniment. So, then an F octave. Now, G, D flat, F. So, it was G, F. Now, it's G, D flat, F, and then... um. I'm going to use my right hand thumb again to help out with the accompaniment. Then a single A flat. So right here. Now in the next part. So she sings da-da-dum. So I'm going to do that in the piano part. A 
A flat, B flat, C, but it's too hard to go. So I'm just going to go three, four, five. A flat, B flat, C. But I'm going to play an octave on that C so it sounds pretty. So left hand has C, F, B flat, and then I'll use my right hand thumb. Okay, slowly. So your C octave will kind of line up with the left hand F. And then I come down with the right hand to play an E natural and G. Left hand goes C, E, G, E. So from here, two and one, E and a. So starting here. Faster. Okay, and then black dot to black dot, that means we're going to repeat. So we're going to go back to the first red dot, I mean a uh, black dot, and we're going to play to this black dot. So let's do that. Now, I can pick up where I left off at 59 seconds. And let's see. Uh, no, no, that's wrong. So then we have the chorus coming up, okay? So I'm going to have to learn with you. I haven't practiced this. <laughs> I just learned this a few minutes ago. And uh, I... You know, love the song, but I'm going to learn it with you, which I do, I'm used to doing, okay? So we're at 59 seconds. So as soon as you finish the black dot repeat, now we're at... And then we're there. So I'll slow it down for you. B natural, A flat B, and then a D in the left hand. I'm going to go 5, 2, 1, 2. You know, in the version that I'm using on YouTube, it's the, the acoustic version with the guy playing the piano and louder singing. It's just them two. So that's what I'm using because I can really hear the notes better on that. So I try to incorporate his piano part as much as I can so, they get her, so that you get her pretty vocal line in the right hand, but also a, a taste of what the left of the what the piano is doing. OK, so to combine both. All right. So right here we have. So B flat, or B natural, A flat, B natural, D, five, two, one, two. And then this is the same chord. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to go G, C, G, C. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Right hand, A flat, G, D, F, G. And I like octaves right there. So, oh, sorry. Uh. Now right here, I put an F because the piano part has an F, so I use my right hand to do that F. Even though it's not the melody, it's part of the accompaniment. The accompaniment. And then E, F, G, C as the left hand stays on C, G, C. All right, let's go from here again. Uh, slower. So now we have, yeah, E, F, G, C, and then we have no. All right, so I'm learning it with you. So now, duh, you notice it sounds happy happier right here and that's because you have the F chord F F A C but instead of F A flat C you have F A natural C and that makes it a major chord and it sounds happier to our ears instead of the A flat we have the A natural so ba, 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 ba. so we have C we already talked about that now we have F C 
F C G A five two one one. I'm gonna use my thumb thumb again. Okay, I use thumb thumb all the time. Most teachers will say do this crossover, but not if I'm right there. It's easy, thumb thumb. And then I do A right there. So F, F again, A, and then I'm gonna do B flat C. Okay, right hand is G A A C A. Then I'm gonna come down and play F and C right here. And then a C octave, okay? So if I start right here, one. There's a one. You do that again, because I'm learning it with you. So here it's D, F, D. Left hand, B flat, F, C, and then right hand with a D. And then B flat, D, B flat for the melody. So this D is not the melody, it's just the accompaniment. I'll let my right hand help out. Instead of doing that, I'll let my right hand, and then B flat, D, B flat. So, okay, so B flat still. So you already learned it over here, B flat, F, C, D. And then this is the piano part, but I wanted to include it. D, B flat, C, A. Okay, so it's A, C, A, B flat, D, B flat, again, and then D, F, D. Left hand is G, D, F, B flat. You do it again. So if you want to do it simple, da, 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 but if you want to go, you can do that. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. And you have... So here is C, C, G, B flat, C, da, 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 right hand F, B flat, F, and an E natural, one, two, and a. So F, A, F, one, two, five, and then t keep your hand locked in that position. Whenever you have octaves and another note, especially, find that position and keep it, and then just you. You keep it in that position and go to the next one. So don't loosen your hand up and then try the next and then loosen up. Keep it locked in that position. That will help you to play those better. See, my, my wrist is just coming up to play. I don't reset every time. I just keep my hand locked in that position. So C octave and then C, G, B flat. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so let's go from here. didn't do it exactly correctly, but I'm going to try it again. Okay, now the next chord is an E chord. That chord. <laughs> F9, it's an F9 chord if you want to know what that chord is. And then what do we have? Uh, all right, I'm just practicing here <laughs> so that I can teach it to you. Okay, so F, C, G, A. And the left right hand has B flat, E flat, B flat. And then a C octave. Now, add that E flat for flavor, okay? It's just like you're putting a little salt in your soup. You just, a little flavor. Don't go. But just, it's a little bit, okay? So, um, F, C, G, A, and then we're gonna move to A, 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 F, A. Right hand is B flat, E flat, B flat. Little, little salt with E flat. And then C, C, F, C. And then, I'm gonna come for power. So, right here and go um, C, F. If you want to play that first A as an octave, you can, but it's kind of hard. So if you want to just do this, and then a single F here. So it's, okay, again, um, what's up here? 
Okay, so starting here. Okay, again. And then. So this is kind of a tender, intimate moment in the song. So I want to make the piano sound like that. You know how piano music does, so especially a solo piano piece. So I'm going to go. So C, and then I have this in the, in here to make it sound pretty. So C, D flat, C, B flat, C, B flat. And I'm going to go three, four, three, two, four, two. So I'm going to go. Dig it up, up, um. Okay, so. Or. So I, when I hit that B flat, I go D flat, B flat, D flat, and then F B flat on the right. So B flat, C, C, F B flat, da da dun. Left hand is C, F B flat, C. And then this is G C G. And then an F octave, left hand is D, F, D, A, F, A, C, five, two, one, two, one. Okay, and then, uh, or, yeah, uh, so A, C, A, and then a G, left hand is G, D, F, B flat, B flat, C, B flat at the end. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. And then C, E, G, C in the right, left hand on a C octave. Bum, bum, bum. And then a single G to a C octave. And then A flat, C, A flat. Then we're getting back into the minor. All right, so let's try it from here. And go. Faster. So one, a two, and okay, and then uh, now let's look at the next section. This is the piano uh, interlude in between where you go back to the next verse. show you some variations you can do when you go back um, something you can do in piano when you when you go back and repeat something is you can change the octave because we have so many notes to play we can take something that we were playing lower move it up higher and it sounds like a totally different piece but we're not having to learn any new notes so that's a little trick that I'm gonna show you all right so uh, let's finish this out this little interlude between the verse and chorus G C G A flat C A flat B flat, C, B flat together. It's dissonant all by itself. It sounds kind of almost wrong, but it'll sound great when you play it together. So it's F, G, A, uh, F, C, F, G, A flat. Remember that? That's what you're going to do here. And then you're going to go. Now we're going to stay on the F, but go F, D flat, F. Again from here. C, C, uh, G, G, C, G, G, C, G. Okay, so. I just added this because she's holding a G when she's singing, and the piano's not really doing anything, so I, I just thought this would be nice. So D flat, F, B flat, D flat, one, two, four, five. And then a single C. Left hand is G, D flat, F, B flat. F B flat, left hand D flat, C F C F A flat, left hand on a C one, two, and then here I'm gonna go C G A flat G quick, da 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 down. Let the pedal ring; it sounds good. And then A flat A flat as you go C G B flat. 
Okay, so the whole inch, the uh, piano interlude here is. And then you start over. You go back and play what we already learned. Now, let's play. Wow, this video is very long, <laughs> way longer than I normally do for YouTube. I'll play it all the way through, okay? I'll have to stop here and there to scroll the, the music, but um, I'll give it a shot. Here we go, very top. All right, very beginning. Top of the page. Now we're at 59. After the repeat. So <laughs> we didn't do the repeat. So uh, then we go back to the dot. black dot now we can move on so that's what threw me the first time I didn't forgot about the repeat 59 seconds again bum, bum. and it starts over right here one more time and then when you play you can go up higher and even up higher like that No, that's not what it does, but just giving you an idea of something uh, to do is moving up with the, the octaves like that. So make this your own. Play the left hand simply at first and then try to do more notes as I was doing to help you uh, to make the accompaniment more rich. OK, and then uh, take it slow. Take it measure by measure. Piece the measures together and realize it may take you a few months to learn this. So don't try to learn the whole thing at once. That's a that's a bad idea because you'll get frustrated pick a small part that you can be successful with and then be successful with another small part the next day where you keep having successes every day with small pieces and those pieces will get bigger and eventually you'll learn to play the whole song and it'll be fun and you'll enjoy it. So I hope you guys uh, had a great time with this lesson. I'll talk to you later. I'm Sean and I've taught thousands of people all over the world to play the music they love using my whiteboard method for piano. If you've struggled in the past and want to try a different way to learn, sign up for a free account today at webpianoteacher.com.